decimal to octal conversion problem 1 convert the decimal 153 to octal number to do this we use a method called repeated division method in this problem we are going to convert to a octal number the base of the octal number is 8 so we use repeated division method with the number 8 so division will be done with number 8 first divide 153 by 8 and we get the quotient 19 and the remainder 1 again take 19 and divide by 8 and we get the quotient as 2 and remainder as 3 now divide 2 by 8 and we get the quotient 0 and remainder as 1 oh, sorry 2 so we have to stop here since the quotient is 0 so this process the repeated division method stops when the quotient become 0 so from the remainder part from the remainder we have got we will get the answer so here from this we will get the answer so in this this forms the LSP the least significant bit and this forms the most significant bit so the answer will be this is the answer for the decimal 153 the octal equivalent is 231. So, in this, the answer should be written in this direction from bottom to up. Problem 2 Convert 0 0.513 to the base 10 to octal number. We use a method called repeated multiplication method. Since the required base is 8, the octal number base is 8, we use 8 to do the repeated multiplication. First multiply 0 0.513 into 8, so you get 4.104 and the integer part for this is 4 and the fraction part is 0 0.104. Now again take the fraction part that is 0 0.104 and multiply with 8 and you get 0 0.832. So here 0 is, is the integer part and 0 0.832 is the fraction part. Take the fraction part and multiply by 8 and you get 6.656. So 6 is the integer part and 0.656 is the fraction part. Again take the fraction part. And do the multiplication so repeat this process until the fraction part become zero but in this case the fraction part does not become zero it goes on without any end so we'll stop with this and from the integer section from the integer part the numbers present here we will form the octal number so here this number is will be the msb and this will be the lsb so here the answer should be written from top to down in this direction from top to bottom direction the answer should be written so the answer will be so this is the answer as i said this is the msb and this is the lsb problem 3 convert the decimal number 125.201 to a octal number in this first we will take 
125 and apply the repeated division method to get the octal number then take the 0 0.201 and apply repeated multiplication method to get the octal number at last we will combine both the answers to get the final octal number first take 125 and divide by 8 so the quotient will be 15 and the remainder will be 5 again take the quotient 15 and divide by 5 sorry divide by 8 and you get the quotient 1 and the remainder is 7 again take the quotient and divide it by 8 and you get the quotient 0 and remainder is 1 so this division is done is repeatedly done until the quotient become 0 once the quotient become 0 you will stop the division now from the remainder part we will find the octal number so here in this this forms the LSB and this one is the MSB and the we we'll write the octal number from down to up so the answer will be this is the answer for the decimal number 125 the octal equivalent is 175 and this is the MSB and this is the LSB. Now for 0 0.201 we will find the octal number so we do we apply repeated multiplication method so we multiply a point 201 with 8 and we get 1.608 and here 1 is the integer part and 6 uh, 0.608 is the fraction part again take the fraction part 0 0.608 and multiply by uh, 8 and we get 4.864 and 4 is the integer part and 0.864 is the fraction part take 0.864 and multiply with 8 and you get 6.912 and here 6 is the integer part and 0.912 is the fraction part again take the fraction part 0.912 and multiply with 8 and you get 7.296 7 is the uh, integer part and uh, 0.296 is the fraction part again take the fraction part 0.296 and multiply with 8 and you get 2.368 and 2 is the integer part and uh, 0.368 is the uh, fraction part now we have to repeat this until the fraction part becomes 0 but in this case the fraction part does not become 0 it goes without any end so we'll stop with this now from the integer part we will uh, get the octal number so here so this is the integer part in this this forms the MSB and this one is the LSB so answer should be written from up to down manner in this direction the answer should be written so the answer will be this is the answer Now we got the octal equivalent for 125 and the octal equivalent for 0 0.25 sorry 0 0.21 now we have to get the octal equivalent for 125.201 for this complete number we have to get the octal find the octal number to do this we have to combine the results of the integer and the fractional part that is for this one 
and this one we have to combine to get the octal number. So the final answer is this one. This is the final answer for one for the decimal number 125.201. The answer is 175.14672. This is the octal equivalent.